the goddess Hestia, first to be devoured and the last to be yielded up again. She was the firstborn daughter of the titans Rhea and Kronos, the first child Kronos devoured and the last to be purged from his belly by Zeus. Her realm is of the hearth, a word that today is not lent the importance that our ancestors gave it, as it stands for much more than just a fireplace. Hearth shares its ancestry with the heart, and in ancient days the concept of hearth and home was expressed by oikos, which lives on today in words like economics and ecology and eco-warrior. In Latin, the word for hearth was focus. The essential meaning of these words reveals their great significance to the centrality that connects them, which may be seen in the demeanor of the goddess Hestia, who was named Vesta by the Romans. She refused to marry and devoted herself to perpetual maidenhood. She was placid, contented, kind, hospitable, and domestic tending to stay away from the everyday power struggles and political machinations of the other gods, often depicted in a plain gown offering up flame in a bowl or sitting on a woolen cushion on a simple wooden throne. It was the custom of the ancients to say a grace to her before every meal. The ancients had a school of priestesses devoted to her, the Vestal Virgins whose responsibility was to make sure her flame never extinguished. They were considered the guardians of the sacred flame. There are not a great many stories of this gentle and endearing goddess, though she has played a pivotal role in many stories from being the officiant of Zeus and Hera's wedding, as well as Aphrodite and Hephaestus, where she anointed the four with aromatic oils wafted perfumed smoke and sang in a low musical voice hymns of companionship, service, and mutual respect. And although she held one of the original twelve seats of the gods of Olympus, she chose to step down and gave her seat to Dionysus, or Bacchus as some know him, by saying, this comes at a perfect time. I feel more and more that I am needed down in the world to help people and their families, and to be present in the temples that celebrate the virtues of hearth, home, and hallway.